Hi everybody, I'm Johanna, illustrator, ink evangelist and colouring book creator. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to colour five different blossoms in my new book, Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. So we'll be colouring in the flowers on this page here. And the first thing you have to do, as always, is to grab some blank white paper and pop it beneath the sheet that you're working on. This just prevents any indentation onto the page below and also captures any ink which might transfer. So now we're all set, let's get going. For this tutorial, you will need your copy of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly, your Ergo Soft colouring pencils. I've used a few Karat Aquarelle watercolour pencils. Also a white jelly roll pen, a, a colourless blending pencil and I've used a couple of Triplus fine liner pens, a pink and a purple and you'll also need your white A4 office paper. So first up we're going to do this little violet and as you can see I've done a couple of petals already. This one we're going to do with layering three different colours of pencil and a blending pencil. So I'm going to do dark first, then medium and then highlights of pink. So I'm pushing hard and close to that centre of the flower. Then it gets lighter with less pressure as I get towards the tip of the petal. And then I'm going to take my paler purple and do the opposite. So it's dark, darker up here and go lighter towards the centre. Finally, a bit more of the darkest purple. Okay, so that's your little violet. So next up we have this little clover pom-pom that I've started. So I use the darker purple to do all these little bits in here, little semicircles. And now I'm going to use the paler lilac to go dark in the bottom going up to lighter towards the top. So you could even leave the very tips of those petals just plain paper. So push hard at the bottom and then feathery light at the top. And once you've done all of those, grab your white jelly pen. This is just the Sakura one. And I'm going to add a couple of little dots to the tip of each petal. I think these just gives it the impression of a highlight. Then for the stalks, I always think two shades of green mixed together looks much nicer than one solid shade. So a little bit of darker green at the bottom. And on here, and then instead of using a blender pencil, I'm just going to use the lighter green as the blender. So 
and again if you leave a little bit of white paper at the edges it just looks like a really pretty highlight so there you go a little clover pom-pom and now we've got this little blue corn flower. So I've done this mainly with two shades of blue. That's all you need. And what I do is mainly use the pale blue to do the whole of the petal. And then just use the dark blue to add highlights. So once again, pushing harder to do darker color where there's an overlap or where the petal joins onto the center of that flower. And then with this one, with these little lines, I do a little bit of dark in there so that it looks as a little crinkle in the petal. Then take your darker blue and basically do the same thing over the top. I'm also going to use this dark blue to do these little dots and I've used a grey for the centre but I'll just give it a little hint of blue to tie it all together and then these little leaves again two shades of green always nicer than one so a little bit of this one and then just using the lighter green like a blender pencil. So next we've got this little pink uh, dog rose and I'm going to colour this using um, a watercolour pencil but I'm just going to use it dry. So I'm going to do quite hard pressure just at the tip of that overlap going down to lighter and I find sort of doing a circular motion helps to gradiate the colour a bit better and then I'm going to do a hard pink for this little tip here and I'm just going to go over these ones so it's just a single colour of dry watercolour pencil. Then for the inside, I'm gonna use a really dark grey. Press hard at the bottom, lighter at the top. And then all these little seeds. And I would just leave the centre of that with white paper. So unlike the other flowers where I always press dark in at the centre, these are the opposite way around. So it's pinker at the tips of the petals and paler right in the centre. And then a little bit of green for the leaf. And I think we'll have yellow as the tip of this one. So we'll just use yellow like a blender. So last up, it's this little yellow marigold-like flower and I'm going to use the blender for this. So I'm going to do orange at the base of the petal. And then I'm going to use the yellow to do the same thing. So dark at the base of the petal and a bit lighter towards the tip. And then I'm going to grab my colourless blender pencil 
and just smoosh those all together and smooth them out. And then lastly, I'm just going to add the details in the middle. Then a tri plus fine liner. And then we're just going to add some final details using the tri plus fine liner in red. So there you go, there's five different ways to colour flowers in my new book. I hope that's given you some inspiration for your own colouring and I can't wait to see how you colour all the flowers in Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Have fun and happy colouring!